I'm working on here today is a 2012 Ford Escape where the air conditioner is not working because the compressor clutch is not engaging. That is on the outside of your compressor there where you can see those bolts. When you turn the air conditioner on it has an electromagnet that sucks that clutch in there and sends the Freon through the system. That's not engaging. First things you would probably want to check are the easiest is uh, go ahead in the engine compartment here go ahead and take your inside fuse panel out here and this relay here is the same as this relay over here and here you can switch those out to see if that is the problem and you want to make sure that this 10 amp fuse here is in good shape. The next thing I checked was to see if there is Freon in the system here. I unscrewed this cap and I took a screwdriver and there's a little valve in there. You uh, just touch it real quickly and get a little burst of Freon coming out, uh, your system is charged. It's the inside here of looking at that valve similar to like a uh, tire. Okay, when the engine is running, the outer part here of that clutch is not running. It's not uh, spinning with the pulley. So there is an accumulator and a switch on top of the accumulator that has to have the correct pressure in order to engage that clutch on the compressor. So there is a tab that you have to uh, pull up a little bit. Take this uh, off of here. There are several different kinds. This happens to be a three pin some are four and you just need a 14 millimeter wrench and we'll take that out of there. Okay with this special transducer switch removed there will be your o-ring on there if you buy a brand new one the o-ring will come with it you want to take and replace the o-ring. I happen to uh, go to the salvage yard and pick one up. These are for a Chinese made one are around uh, $50. This one here from the salvage yard was five. Okay there's the o-ring all the way down on the base. This one simply screws in take our 14 millimeter and snug that up. As you tighten that up it'll push that little valve in there open so we can go ahead connect our electrical connection and we'll give this a try. Hopefully the engine noise isn't too much but the outer part of the clutch there is turning and we now have cold air. Okay, fortunately this fixed our problem was replacing this. If your clutch is running when it's on full max air and it stops and then it kicks back in again and stops, it's likely that you have lost part of your charge on your Freon and you'll have to have that checked and refilled. One last thing is uh, years ago you were able to uh, jumper out the electrical connection to bypass that switch. This is a new transducer type that Ford uses and it goes through the computer so that won't work uh, jumpering that out. Uh, maybe on the older models but uh, on this newer style here it does not.